we need to know how to do a quantitative test for reducing sugar. If more sugar is present in the sample, then there'll be more precipitate formed. So one way of measuring a quantitative value for the test for reducing sugar is to filter, dry and weigh this precipitate. More reducing sugar equals a greater mass of precipitate. The second way is to look at the change in colour of the Bendix solution. So if more sugar is present, then more copper ions will have reacted. So there'll be less of them in the solution, which means the solution will be less blue. So we can use a colorimeter to detect this color change that would be too subtle for us to look at with our own eyes. Okay, so the way a colorimeter works is you have a light source and then you have a colored filter. So this example, we have a red filter. And normally this tends to be a color that is opposite on the color wheel to the color of the solution that you are measuring. So we are measuring the depth of the blue color in the Benedict solution. Obviously, as more of the Benedicts has reacted, we've said there'll be less blue color. So we've got a red filter, we've got our Benedicts. You put that in a cuvette, so it's a square vessel that you put in so the light has a flat surface, not a curved surface to pass through. And they are transparent, so the light can pass straight through and out the other side. So the light that passes out of the other side of the cuvette is the light that's transmitted through the sample. This is then detected by a photoelectric cell, and this converts that amount of light or intensity of light into either the absorbance, so how much light was absorbed by the sample, or how much was transmitted, what percent of the light was transmitted through the sample. And you can get that as a digital readout. We normally calibrate the machine. So we calibrate the colorimeter before we use it to get a zero baseline reading. And in this case, we would use the unreacted Benedict solution. So the blue solution we would start with before we added it to the sugar solution. And then what we can do is before we start our test for an unknown sample, we can make up a series of concentrations of glucose or whatever sugar it is that we are doing the test with. And then we'd react each one of those with Benedict's and we'd then put a sample of each of those of known concentration through the colorimeter to get a transmission or an absorbance reading. And then we can make a graph. So we would have our concentration of glucose on the bottom and then our, our absorbance or transmission on the y-axis. And then you can draw a line of best fit. And then what you can do is read off your absorbance or transmission value of an unknown sample. And then that will give you an estimate of the concentration of glucose in that sample. So we get an actual numerical value for the concentration of glucose this way.